Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of the Types of Series. My name is Arctic, and for this episode, I decided to do the topic of Types of Personas. Now, before we actually start this video, I would like to say that I got a new suit. I started this suit, I think, like, in June, but I actually just finished it, like, the day before Halloween, so... <laughs> Um, his name is Circuit, and I think you'll be seeing him a lot more in videos because I'm just like really pumped about his suit, and um, it's just fun being in him too. So you'll see Arctic, you'll see Circuit, and maybe even more suits in the future, but uh, yeah, just expect to see him more, and let's go back to the actual video. So, what exactly is a persona? Well, a persona is a made-up animal character that either represents you or someone that you'd like to be. A persona can be as simple as an idea, a drawing, or as complex as a fursuit. The species you choose to be for your persona uh, is usually the one that can represent you, but of course that's just an option. You can choose any animal that you want it to be. Or it can even be, I don't know, a pair of shoes if you really want it to be. And you can even have multiple personas if, you know, that's your cup of tea. The world of personas is endless. So now that that's out of the way, let's discuss the different types of personas. The first type of persona you can have is a persona that is literally exactly like you and or your personality, but as an animal, of course. There's not much else to say here other than it just can either be anthro or feral, I don't know, just literally exactly like you as some kind of furry thing, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. The second type of persona is a slight moderation of you, such as your name change, uh, maybe a different eye color, maybe like a personality you used to have or wish you had or something like that. So for example, uh, my persona, which is Eclipse the Cat, maybe a picture right here, here, I don't know, um, is like practically me, of course, as a cat, and then she just has a different name. That's basically it. There isn't much difference between us. The third type of persona is one that has a lot of changes. Uh, this can be personality, styles, etc., like what I just mentioned. This type of persona often is one that you would like to be, or, or when you wish you would be, or maybe it's one that you even used to be, like that uh, type of personality. Uh, this type of persona is often one that you wish to be, like personality, so maybe you're, you're not as um, outgoing, so you make your persona like outgoing, and then boom, you're perfect. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of these qualities are often ones that the person doesn't have in real life, but that they wish they had, so then they put it in their persona. And then we have the fourth persona, which is one that is absolutely nothing like you, like complete polar opposites. So if you're able to put yourself and your persona side by side, like, you couldn't even see anything how you guys are alike. <laughs> That's how different it is. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this types of episode. I know it was a bit short, but Christmas is coming. Uh, final exams, all of that. <laughs> so much fun stuff. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like give a like or whatever you have to do. Till next time, see ya.